The care and feeding of a Grinch. I'm Max, I'm the dog, and my job is a cinch. I keep a close eye on my master, the Grinch. We look quite alike, if you see what I mean. Only my fur is brownish, and his fur is green. I know you are wondering, what does a Grinch eat? A stinky raw onion is his kind of treat. He likes food that's rotten. I guess you could say, the term for my master is garbage gourmet. That's me, standing guard just outside of his cave. I am scaring off Who's, and I have to be brave. Unlike all the Who's, who like Christmas a lot, my boss on the mountain absolutely, positively, most assuredly does not. Just where he went wrong, I do not know at all. It could be that his heart is a wee bit too small. He sneaks down to Whoville and likes to play pranks. I have to help out, but he never says thanks. One prank that we pull always works without fail. We hide in the P.O. and mix up the mail. A Who gal named Cindy once fell down the chute. I made the boss save her. She was kind of cute. The gal missed the stamper by one little inch. That day, Cindy Lou grew quite fond of the Grinch. Like me, that gal knew that my master was good. The Grinch was not evil, just misunderstood. To honor the Grinch, give him reason to care, was Cindy Lou Who's great idea of a dare. And so, Hubilation, which happens each year, attempted to name him the Chairman of Cheer. The boss was too shy. He did not want to come. I used the old noggin and persuaded him some. I helped him to dress and to clean up his face, to come down and join in the whole Who Man race. I'm sad to report he was not a success. Too much food, too much noise, and way, way too much stress. Back up at the cave, as the boss sang a song, he dreamed up a scheme, and I, Max, went along. He put on a big suit of red trimmed with white. He made me wear antlers. We waited for night. We flew down to Whoville upon a great sleigh, and we made us some history that Christmas day. He stole the Who's Christmas, yes, lock, stock, and toy. He unstuffed their stockings. It gave him great joy. He came in the night like an evil green breeze, and he snatched all the wreaths, and he swiped all the trees. But the Who's fooled the Grinch in a wonderful way, as they all came awake on that Grinchiful day. And from up on Mount Crumpet, we really could tell that the spirit of Christmas was still alive and well. And then out of nowhere, well, what do you know? His shriveled up heart must have started to grow. He gave them their Christmas. He brought it all back. Lock, stock, and toy in a great bulging sack. My boss now keeps Christmas alive in his heart. And I like to think that I played a small part. You have seen for yourself that it's really a cinch to give a dog hug to my master, the Grinch. The end.